Hello and welcome to Four Best Academy and welcome back to our AMC 1012 past paper breakdown videos. Uh, this week we are looking at five AMC 10 questions and breaking down the concepts needed to answer these questions. And today we are going to be looking at a question with our absolute value or our modulus function. So today's question is what is the sum of all real numbers x for which the modulus of x squared minus 12x plus 34 is equal to 2. So the first thing we need to understand is what this function here does with our two lines, the modulus function. And what that does is that makes everything inside it positive. So if the number inside that, value, inside that uh, function was already positive, it would remain positive. If the function inside there was negative, it would become positive. So that is what the modulus function is doing. So the modulus function in this question here is taking x squared minus 12x plus 34 and saying, if you're positive, you can stay positive. If you're negative, you're going to become positive. So what that means is we actually have two scenarios here. The first scenario is the x squared minus 12x plus 34 is equal to positive 2. So if it equals positive 2, our modulus function would say positive 2, that's fine, you can stay as a positive number. And that would be, uh, and that would be the equation we need to solve. So if we're going to solve this equation, the first thing we need to do is to set our equation equal to 0 because we're dealing with a quadratic. So x squared minus 12x if I subtract 2 from both sides, we get plus 32 equals 0. And remembering when we factorize a quadratic, we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give our constant at the end and add together to give the coefficient of our x. So two numbers that multiply to give, together to give 32 and add together to give negative 12. We can have negative 4. So negative eight and negative four. These equal zero. So if x minus eight multiplied by x minus four equals zero, then one of these two brackets must equal zero. So we have two solutions here, either x is equal to positive eight, in which case here, this bracket would equal zero, or x is equal to positive four, in which case, this bracket would equal zero. So that is our first scenario from this equation. The x squared uh, minus 12x plus 34 equals positive two. The other possibility we have is that x squared minus 12x plus 34 would equal negative two. And because we're putting this into the modulus function, the modulus function would look at that negative two and say, you need to become positive. So we'd, we'd get an answer of positive two, even though our function is giving, even though our x squared minus 12x plus 34 is equal to negative two. So this is our other possible, uh, other possible equation from this function. Again, we're going to set this equal to zero so we can factorize it and solve. x squared minus 12x, and we're gonna plus two to both sides this time, plus 36 is equal to zero. And we're going to factorize this and it will become x minus 6 multiplied by x minus 6 or x minus 6 squared equals 0. And again, if this is equal to 0, we have only one solution this time, and that is that x must equal 6 for that to equal 0. So we have three solutions here, x equals 8, x equals 4, or x equals 6. If we're looking for the sum of all of these values, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 6 is 18. So the answer to this question here would be C, 18. Thank you very much for watching our video today. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And please don't forget to tune in every weekday until the AMC tests for more past paper problem breakdown videos. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.